So you have been wondering what the best site for your Freestyle Libre sensor is and whether you can apply the sensor in other places than upper arm? Then you are in the right place because in this video I'm gonna discuss my top favorite spots for Freestyle Libre sensor placement. Let's go! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom, I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. So let's jump right into it and discuss my four favorite spots for Freestyle Libre sensor placement. And I already see some of you writing comments and telling me that Libre is only approved for the upper arm by the manufacturer. Yes, you are right, I know it too, and I make this totally transparent to my viewers. Upper arm is the only officially approved location, so if you are someone who always reads the user's manual, who always follows the manufacturer instruction 100%, and who never tries and experiments with something new, then you should definitely click away and don't watch this video because this could be disturbing for you. But if you like trying out alternative solutions, if your arms are too skinny or too small to apply the sensor there, if the skin on your arms is damaged because you've been using it too much, if you have a job or do sports where you use your arm a lot and knock the sensor off every other day, or if you just want to hide your sensor in the summer month to avoid questions from strangers, then you might find a few interesting alternatives and inputs from the other members of the community in this video. And guys, please remember, I'm not a medical professional, this is not a medical advice, I'm just sharing with you what works for me here on YouTube. My number four favorite spot is hips. And the main reason why I and some of my viewers like this area is because it's very discreet. You can cover it with your clothes and nobody will see that you have the sensor placed there and nobody will notice when you're actually scanning. Most of the time this area is covered, so you can really keep your sensor private, taking readings without anyone noticing. It is also very easy to apply the sensor there and it's quite durable because this area is well protected from all the door frames, which is number one enemy of all Freestyle Libre users. What I don't like about this spot is that this area tends to be a little bit less accurate and that's not only based on my personal results but based on a study that was done on a large number of users. And I will link the study in the description below so you can check it out. Another thing that very active people don't like about this area is that when they exercise their core the sensor is in the way as they stretch their belly and hips during sit-ups and similar exercises. If you don't know what sit-ups are, then you should be fine. Moving on to my favorite spot number three, and that is, surprise surprise, upper arm. Yes, this spot recommended by Abbott is really not that bad. It's very accurate and it's quite comfortable. You can also rely on Abbott to replace any faulty sensor that you placed in your upper arm in case the sensor was giving you faulty readings or if it fell off too early. And by the way, it is unlikely that Abbott would give you a free replacement in case you tell them that you placed your sensor somewhere else than the recommended site. What I and probably almost every user of Freestyle Libre sensors hate about the upper arm is that it's so exposed to door frames and other objects and it's so easy to knock off your sensor if you have it in your upper arm. Also application to the upper arm is quite difficult because you kind of need to hack yourself and you don't really see where exactly you are placing the sensor. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this location because most of you probably already know it and I moved to number two favorite spot of mine and this is a thigh. Why? Because thigh is so much more protected and the sensors I place there tend to last much longer. They typically show very accurate numbers and not only to me. The clinical study showed that thigh is much more accurate than abdomen and almost as accurate as upper arm. For me it's also very durable, discreet and easy to cover even in summer with shorts or swimsuit. There is such a high variability of spots on thigh because they are simply much bigger than arms so you can rotate the spots not constantly overusing and damaging a very small skin area like I do with the arms. To whom I would not recommend the thigh 
probably to runners, bikers and other sports people who use their legs a lot for different kinds of exercises. Because if the thigh is under a huge pressure of the exercise, it might not be great to have a sensor there. Also, if you guys have hairy legs like me, it might be a bit difficult to place your sensor there unless you shave it. So this is another thing that you might want to consider. For me, the best and my number one most favorite area that I tried is chest. This side is very flat, so my sensors stick there very well and I do not bump into anything. It is the most durable spot I've found on my body so far and it gives me pretty reliable and accurate readings. For me it's also a very comfortable and discreet option. When I made the video about the chest placement I also asked ladies to share their experience how they like this location and I received a lot of positive feedback from, from ladies who like this area a lot and are not bothered by bra or some other straps that might be close to the chest uh, and the sensor when it's there. So so chests seem to be winning with both genders. I know many users are terrified by the idea of placing the sensor in the chest because it somehow doesn't feel right. But on the other hand, unlike all other sites, I have never heard anyone who actually tried this site complain about chest. Everyone who has tried chest has been happy with this area. So maybe it's time for you to give the chest a shot not a medical advice. Guys, I made a dedicated video about each site that I discussed today where I talk about them in much more detail. Click on the playlist on the screen now to watch them because what works for me might not work for everyone. We all have different body shapes, different lifestyles and different needs. Let me know which site you like the best in the comments below and I will see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao!